In the same way as the Odyssey may be regarded as a rougher synth than the Mini Moog, it's fair to say that the patch morphing on the Odyssey is rougher than that of the Mini Monster. Now when I use the word rough, maybe that's wrong. Maybe slightly less elegant is a better way of putting it. Now to my mind this fits with the more raucous vibe of the Oddity and in this tutorial we're going to take the pulse width sound we created in another tutorial and create variations that we can morph to and from. The way that Oddity patch storage works is different to most other instruments. What people generally assume is that there are 64 patches in a bank and this isn't wrong. However, when it comes to morphing, it's probably better to look at those 64 patches as sub-patches within one main patch. Once you get that into your head, it's easy to work out the whole patch morphing process. So here we have our first patch, which will form the basis for all the other patches we want to morph to and from. Now one thing I've noticed over the years is that people tend to use the Mini Monster morphing for subtle morphs between different LFO or filter settings. What's been fascinating for me though is that when it comes to the Oddity, people will do more madcap things. Now to my mind this is brilliant and reinforces the idea behind the instrument being named the Oddity. However, what I try and do is move from subtle to madcap saving each sub-patch en route to something more mayhem-like. That way, if a morph starts to fall apart, I can quickly snap it back to something more acceptable. So let's just create a few sub-patches and see where that takes us. First thing is, I'm going to be boring and just open the filter for this one. and save to position 2. Next, I'm going to create a slightly more open filter for the next patch. And save to position 3. Okay, for the final morph, we're going to do something pretty mad, Cat and even change switches, which don't technically fall into a ball. Okay, that's mad enough. So, and allocate to four. So, to activate the morphs, we simply select our morph time and move between the patches we've just saved. Whereas the Mini Monster morphs in beats per bar, the Oddity morphs in seconds. Now, what I love here are the spaces in between the normal sounds and the radical morphs. Hidden here are the places that real musicians just wouldn't go, and for me that's what makes these sounds really special. Now of course, you can record all this morph data into a host, and then you can find those spaces and make them permanent. But for me, what I love is that ability to morph between less radical changes, and then when you feel like living dangerously, throw in a slightly bad camera, and if it gets slightly out of control, re-morph it back to some degree of sanity. And finally, if you want to save those sub-patches within the big patch I talked about earlier, hit the Save button, Name, and Save. 